Today, Muna will be showing us how to make traditional Chaldean Cuba hummus. What we're gonna need, cream of rice, cup, cup and a half, cream of wheat, half a cup, and um, mm, mm, ground beef, uh, but not uh, oily, like uh, to be like 90% of lean. 90% lean or better? Yes. And then uh, we're gonna need the spicy, Chaldean spicy, baharat, black pepper, and salt, and some water. And, and we're gonna separate the, the ground beef, two. One, we're gonna mix it with the rice and the cream of wheat, and one we're gonna mix for the inside the kubahamas we're gonna mix onion in it. <clears throat> I cut the onion very little. I put it in the stove to make it very soft. With just a little bit of water? Just a little bit of water, or if you wanna put oil, you can do that like one teaspoon, but I did it with the water. And I put it in the top of the meat here, the ground beef. Now I'm gonna put some salt, a little bit of salt, and I'm gonna put some black pepper, and some spicy, baharat, Chaldean baharat, spicy. Or if you don't have uh, baharat spicy, go to Chaldean store and buy it. Okay. <clears throat> and then you mix it together and the spoon, mix all that. here a cup and a half of cream of rice and half cream of wheat, half a cup of cream of wheat and one cup and the ground beef. And I put a little bit of salt. Okay, now I'm gonna make it like dough. I add some water and then I mix it together till I get a, a smooth dough. Gonna leave it here. Gonna leave it right there for like five minutes. Okay, now we're ready to stuff the kubahamas. Okay, I put some water in the plate so I can wet my hand like that. And I take 
this size. The size of the door. And I open it like that. Open it, make sure you don't have to rip it. And stuff it with the meat. And then close it. Make your hand wet. Okay, do like this. And make it this shape. Like that. Like that. Like this. And put it there. And I put that plastic in the tray so they don't stick in the tray. And then I take another one. I keep doing that till I'm done with the dough. Uh, there is a three shape to do, but I like that shape to do all the time. It's more easy. I do the another shape if you like. You can make this shape here. You go this way, the same thing, and do that. Like that. You can make it bigger, but I I can't make it bigger. I always make it the same size. I make it this way. I put it there. There is another shape, if it's easy for you to do it. You take this, the same size. And you open it, take a little bit of meat and put it there. Close it, make sure the meat don't come out when you stuff it. And you go like this, and you do this way. That way. Like, you know, marble. Okay, you put it there. Okay, and keep doing that till you're done the dough. See? I do that more, uh, for me it's more better in that one. Make it nice and fast. Just do like this. Like this. So I'm making all the same that one there. But I show you if you don't like that one you can make this or you make that one like marble. You can make it bigger, it depends how you like. Well, from this you can make like hundred, hundred pieces. 100, 120, the size I'm making. Okay, I'm, now I'm done with the Bahamas. I make it a layer and I put plastic between it because I don't want to stick to each other and give me that much, okay? Now, we're done with this Bahamas. We're gonna make a, a soup to cook it. I take a pan and put a little bit oil, not too much. You can use any kind of oil, olive oil, vegetable oil, uh, any kind. And I have here a celery. I cut it, I wash it and cut it. And I have a carrot. I cut it to small pieces and onion. And I'm gonna need a little bit of black pepper, salt, and tomato paste, and uh, a seasoned mint. Okay, now I'm gonna put the oil in the stove. Now I put it the oils in the medium heat. 
And I'm gonna put the onion, fry it. I'm gonna put some black pepper. And I put some bahara for taste because we have and the kubahama. And I wait. I'm gonna put the celery. All right, together. Some people, you can use any kind of uh, vegetable. You can use uh, garbanzo beans, whatever, any kind. But I like to cook it with uh, celery and carrots. I'm gonna put the carrots. I'm going to put a little bit of mint, like uh, one teaspoon for this. And I'm going to put some salt. I'm gonna put like two or three cups of water. It depends how many you're gonna cook. Okay. And I'm gonna leave it till they boiling. And then I'm gonna add the tomato paste. And I'm going to add uh, a uh, one spoon of cream of wheat to make the soup a little bit thicker. We wait till the soup going to boil and the vegetable going to cook a little bit. Okay, now the soup is boiling. I'm going to add the tomato paste. You can add like two spoons. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of cream of wheat to make it thicker. You can use uh, cream of wheat or cream of rice. It doesn't matter. Whatever you have at home. Okay? I just make it, you can see this, you know, if, it's, if the tomato is good, you can add more. You can add more. Just leave it to boiling a little bit. And then you're gonna add the kubahamos. So you're gonna add the kubahamos just as many you want. Like, I'm gonna put there like 30 to 40. And 
there was uh, uh, some leftover of uh, ground beef, you know, the stuffing, the meat I stuffed with the kubahama. And then I make it like meatball and I put it there, two of them. You know, you can just make it like meatball and throw it there. And the rest of the kubahama you have, you can freeze it and you take it out whatever you want to cook it and make the same soup and you just take it from freezer and put it right away to the kubahama soup. And I hope you like it. Thank you. The leftovers have now been covered uh, with additional saran wrap. The entire tray can be placed in the freezer once they're all frozen through. The saran wrap can be taken off layer by layer and each ball can be put into a Ziploc bag and then continue to be frozen that way. But that way they freeze separately. Okay. Now leave it to cook 15 to 20 minutes to the medium heat and then you cover the lid. To cover it, don't cover it all the way because you don't want to, because the cream of wheat is going, when it's going to boiling, it's going to, you know, boil over. Yes. So just leave it like that for 15 to 20 minutes and come check it. Okay, now it's done. It's ready to be served. You bring plate. Now it's ready to eat with Arabic, Chaldean, pita bread. Enjoy it. Kubahamath. Thank you. I hope you like my video and you learn from me something from Chaldean food. Thank you.